Hey guys, today we're making our own foaming hand soap, just like the kind that you get at the store, except at a fraction of the price and without all of the sketchy chemicals. So the first thing that you're gonna need is a foaming soap dispenser. A regular soap dispenser will not work for this tutorial. So you can use one that you already have, like you can re reuse an old foaming soap dispenser bottle. Or I went ahead and got one of these from Whimsy and Wellness. They sell all of the cutest like essential oil accessories and they had this foaming soap dispenser in its super cute glass with a gold lid. And so I went ahead and got one of those because it's going to be in our guest bathroom. And then you're going to need this pure Castile soap. I get this on Amazon. I'll have links to everything below. This kind of soap is really gentle and effective and non-toxic. You're going to put two tablespoons of that into your dispenser. And this brand of soap has an A rating on EWG, and I'll put a link to that website below. You can look up all of the products that you use in your home and see how toxic or non-toxic they are. And then the next thing you're going to add to the soap is this vitamin E oil. This will just make your soap more moisturizing. And both the Castile soap and the vitamin E will make multiple batches of this soap, so it'll last a long time. And then we're going to add our all natural fragrance and you can do whatever type of seasonal blend sounds good to you. I'm doing this jade lemon and vanilla. It kind of has a lemonade type of smell and I thought that would be great for summer, but any seasonal diffuser blend that you find on Pinterest or anything like that would work. You just want to do a total of about 30 drops. So I did 15 drops each and then you fill the bottle the rest of the way with water and put your lid back on and just give it a little shake and it's ready to go. So I always loved having the seasonal foaming hand soap in my bathroom for guests and I always used to get the kind from the store but they are so harsh on your skin and then also if you just look into the endocrine disrupting properties of like synthetic fragrances and things like that um, this is just such a much better natural option. So let me know if you guys try this. You can follow me over on Instagram and I'll have links to everything below. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.